So today we're taking a look at the Acer Predator Helios 300. It's a 15.6 gaming laptop from Acer that has a GTX 1060, retails for 1049. Got the traditional Predator Acer colors, uh, it weighs about 5.95 pounds, so it's slightly heavy, but it feels well distributed in terms of weight. Doesn't feel as heavy as that sounds. Now you've got a full-fledged keyboard with numb keys on the uh, with a numb pad on the right hand side. The trackpad is towards the left of your keyboard, so it might be something that you might not like. In terms of ports and connectivities, you've got uh, Ethernet, you've got USB Type C, uh, you've also got HDMI, you've got a USB 3.0 and an SD card slot all on the left hand side. Uh, now if we move over to the right hand side, we've got two more USB ports, a headphone jack, some LED indicators and a power port, which is nice. Now internal specs, you're looking at a 7th generation Core i7, uh, GTX 1060 6x RAM, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 uh, RAM, 256 gigabytes, uh, gigabytes of SSD storage and battery life is seven hours. That's approximately, we'll get to that in a second. Now the display is a 1080p display. It's sRGB color rating is about 86%. It's sharp, but the color representation is not as realistic. That being said though, speakers are the Acer True Harmony and they have Adobe support on them. So take a listen to audio off the speakers too much for me. And my first thought is putting it down on a table or anything else. I'm just afraid of that glass being shattered or scratched easily. And moving towards the bottom, there are the connections for your Moto Z mods. So this one. Pretty good speakers, but now you care about gaming, and since it sounds that well, how well is the gaming performance uh, of this? We have a couple of games we're going to go through, and you see how well this thing handles. We'll talk about some, some things to do with heat, um, functionality, all that fun stuff. So the first game is actually uh, Battlefield 1. Uh, we are doing 60 frames per second. This is The game is set on ultra uh, and it's also plugged in. If it's not plugged in, it basically cuts halfway. I'll just tell you that it runs at 30 frames. Now, if we just kind of go in closer and take a look at what we have in terms of um, settings here for the game, uh, you find out that here we go, it's of course uh, 1080p as you would expect. The display can do 1080p, but it, everything is set at ultra and we're doing solid 60 frames per second. So this thing can really do some really Really good work performance wise while you're gaming now i noticed that the fan did kick in uh but you do have the acer sense um software where you can actually put the fan on turbo boost or it will actually notify it will notice when you're gaming and it will switch over to turbo but um, in terms of gaming performance, a game like um, Battlefield, this thing ran very well, very smooth. Also, a lot of detail. Having a GTX 1060 in here it makes a whole lot of difference. And you can see just the amount of detail within the game and the kind of uh, uh, performance you're getting. Again, lock 60 frames per second just didn't drop whatsoever. Now, moving on to Doom here. This game is also set at Ultra and we're doing 140 frames per second, 1080p. Absolutely amazing. You know, a game like Doom, very fast paced, um, you know, you can get lower frame rates, but this thing does a really good job in giving some solid frame rates here. Uh, I mean, actually spectacular frame rates uh, for a game like this. Now, uh, looking at that display, the color representation is slightly off. Again, like I said, 83%, it's not bad, it, but you know, you're, you're caring about mostly about the performance and also the audio quality you're getting sound wise is pretty good with those speakers. So, um, you know what, take a listen to some just gameplay with gameplay audio here. Incoming demon room. Enemy 
So our last game is uh, The Witcher 3. We're running this uh, settings on high, not ultra, but we're doing uh, close to 55 frames per second, which is pretty nice with this. Uh, so you can clearly see that this thing handles well uh, across the board. It's got a GTX 1060 in there, that 7700HQ does a really good job, 16 gigs of RAM, can't complain. Now in terms of heat dissipation, like I mentioned earlier, the fan does kick in pretty well. Um, it's not too loud because while we're gaming, you could hear even a game like like uh, Doom, uh, you didn't hear the fan uh, appear, you know, really loud. So that's a, a good thing. Uh, but heat dissipation actually is, does a pretty good job. I would say, honestly, uh, in terms of just the feel, it was fine. Now browsing the web is uh, pretty standard, as you would expect. It's easy to do that with the trackpad because it doesn't have a touch screen, so you can scroll up and down quite effectively also swipe left or right to go between pages uh, if you want to so that's actually pretty good and simple uh, with this trackpad itself is very smooth much improved uh, you've seen that improvement over the over different lines of Acer gaming laptops as well as the keyboard itself so the keyboard functions very well it's a little softer to the touch but you can game well with it and definitely type well with it too in terms of battery life I used to set seven hours I got about six hours 15 minutes which is pretty good for gaming laptops just things die pretty quickly now when gaming of course it's much lower in terms of uh, battery life there so uh, don't expect don't don't you're not gonna be gaming with this unplugged because you're also cutting out a couple of the your CPU cores but this is a solid gaming laptop Laptop. I do like it and uh, for its price point it's pretty much the best at a thousand bucks because it's a thousand forty nine and this is something that you will get your bang for your buck you get great performance uh, with the GTX 10, 1060 built in you can't go wrong so if you want to pick it up use our Amazon link down below that supports us and also you get it uh, uh, you know for yourself without any extra charge otherwise guys don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and once you do hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment